I'm going to explain Schrodinger's cat to you in a way that you will understand it. Because at its root, Schrodinger's cat is a very simple experiment. All you need to conduct this thought experiment is a box. A box with a lid that you can't see into, a sealed box. Into this box you put exactly four things. Number one, a living cat. The cat has to be alive. Number two, a vial of poison capable of killing a living cat. Number three, radioactive material. Something radioactive emits particles of radioactive decay in a random fashion. So randomly, you don't know when, this material will emit particles. And number four, what I call the Geiger killer, after the famous Geiger counter. Geiger counter can detect radioactive particles. The Geiger killer would be the same thing. It can detect radioactive particles, but when it detects one, this little hammer smashes the vial. Poison is released and the cat dies. Now, you know intuitively in the macro world that we all live in, one of two states could be the case inside this box. Even though you can't see inside, you know that either radioactive decay has been emitted, the Geiger killer has broken the flask, and the cat has died. In that case, the cat would be in the state of dead. Now, if there has been no radioactive decay, the flask has not been broken by the Geiger killer, the cat is still alive inside the box. So the cat could be in the state of alive. That's very intuitive. We all know that either the cat is alive or the cat is dead. And that all depends on whether or not this random particle has been emitted. This is where it gets weird though. This is where the thought experiment leaves the comfortable realm of our intuitive knowledge. Because according to Irvin Schrodinger, the Nobel Prize winning physicist who designed this thought experiment, that's not the state the cat would be in. So long as the box is sealed and you can't look inside, the cat is not either alive or dead, like our common sense would tell us. The cat is actually both. The cat exists in a state called superposition. It is both alive and dead. Now, don't try to figure that out. That's the mistake most people make when they're going over this thought experiment in their mind. They want to know why the cat is both alive and dead. Don't worry about that. This is a thought experiment Schrodinger designed to show how absurd quantum mechanics conclusions could be. This cat is both alive and dead. That is counterintuitive. That doesn't map onto our experience of reality. But that's the state the cat would be in according to the random decay, the fact that the cat is in the box where you can't see what's happening. The cat is both alive and dead. That's the state of superposition. That's what I've tried to illustrate by drawing the cat with one eye open and one dead eye. That is a dead alive cat. That is Schrodinger's cat. It's dead and alive inside the sealed box. Now here's where it becomes even more strange. The cat will remain in that state of superposition until you open the box and look inside. Just the fact that you are an observer looking inside the box will end this state of superposition. It's called collapsing the superposition. The alive dead state of the cat will collapse into either a dead cat or an alive cat. So the superposition will collapse. So these are key words in understanding Schrodinger's cat. Just to summarize it for you, into a sealed box, a box with a lid that you can't look inside and you have no idea what's going on inside. You put a living cat, you put a poison flask that will kill the cat if it's open, radioactive material, that will decay randomly because radioactive decay is random, and something that can detect radioactive decay. If it detects that radioactive decay, it breaks the flask, the cat dies. As long as the box is sealed, and you don't know what's going on inside, the cat exists as both alive and dead in a state of superposition. When you, the observer, open the lid of the box and look inside, the superposition will collapse and you'll be left with either a living cat or a dead cat. That's how simple it was. The mistake we make is trying to figure out why that makes sense. The whole point of the thought experiment as designed by Schrodinger 
was that it doesn't make sense. Although he was a Nobel Prize winning physicist who contributed to the development of quantum mechanics formulas and theories, he didn't like some of their conclusions. He disagreed with what was known as the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics. So he designed this thought experiment to show how absurd quantum mechanics were. So don't try to figure it out. The point is, it doesn't make sense. In fact, according to the famous scientist Richard Feynman, if you think you understand quantum mechanics, by that very fact, you don't understand quantum mechanics. If you think you understand Schrodinger's cat, you don't understand Schrodinger's cat. So that's it. It's that simple. That's the whole Schrodinger's cat thought experiment. Next time on the decidedly low-tech blackboard of truth, I'm going to take superposition to the next level and talk about what I consider the strangest thing about the universe we live in. The strangest corollary of quantum mechanics theory. Something that makes a cat that's both dead and alive seem kind of pedestrian by comparison.